can rejoice and enjoy ourselves this morning. Amen. the first time they picked up a drink. I remember thinking about how it was just part of having fun. What I don't remember is exactly when it stopped being fun. When did opening up a bottle become my way of life? I know I used to live for more than the next drink. I don't even know who my friends are anymore. My family gave up on me a long time ago. The punishment that can bring you peace was upon me, and by my wounds, you are healed. You all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of you has turned to your own way, and my Father has laid on me the iniquity of you all. I was assigned a grave with the wicked, though I had done no violence or had any deceit in my mouth. Yet it was my Father's will to crush me and cause me to suffer and make my life a guilt offering. But the will of the Lord will prosper in my hand. I, the righteous servant, justify many and bore your iniquities. I have poured out my life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. I bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. I have conquered sin, death, and hell. I rose from the grave bringing victory in my hands. Call on me, follow me, reach out and take these hands. So we never rolled the way. box. Is no. she off the box to put it on the table? We're not that's wrong. Catered. There's over and everything. You just, you, you've been here before, so you know, I hope you get used to it. Uh, <laughs> we just pretend it's your house too. Oh, so it'll right. be ready in about 20 minutes. But no, it'll honey, be... it's done now. I just took it out. Oh, you took it out? Yeah. And we got kind of upside down cake. We were going to have Watergate salad, but I was too lazy. I just quit. You didn't make Watergate salad? No, I'll make it this week though because I got to stop in When you ain't here. So. Yeah. Thank 
Yeah, we're going to get going. You guys want to end service this evening? Listen guys, you can take the girl out of West Virginia, but you can't take the West Virginia out of the girl. This is literally what I'm doing, following my dad who just bought a mower on Easter Sunday, and he bought it like a mile and a half, uh, probably not that long, like half a mile. I'd say probably half a mile from the house. And instead of, you know, having the guy haul it or having me like pull it with a winch or you know something like that no he's just driving it just driving it down the main the main road i'm following behind him closely to make sure it don't run out of gas because it doesn't have a whole lot of gas in it but you know like i said you can take the girl out of west virginia but you can't take the west virginia out of the girl this is the redneck stuff that they get me doing when i haven't been here for three months it's been three months since i've been back in west virginia and the first time i come back this is the redneck crap that they have me doing oh, gotta love it happy easter everyone also for all my old school people who remembers this bridge if you've been watching the vlogs for a really long time you remember this spot right here where are my OGs at? How many people have been watching long long enough for me to be sitting at this bridge all the time? Uh, I miss this. I will say the one thing about city living is you, you miss this part of it. Guys, there's a duck down here. Oh, it's flying away. See it flying away, guys? Right there. Right there. It just flew away. There was a duck down here. I've never seen a duck down here. But this is the river that I grew up playing in. This is my little river. You guys are OGs of the vlog. You'll remember this. But my best friend in high school lost her shoe right down here on this little ledge. We used to walk down and play on the rocks right in the river. And she lost her flip-flop right here. And it went all the way down the river. But if you're an OG of my vlogs, then you should remember this. This is my sitting spot where I used to sit all the time. This is the, the good old-fashioned river. Love this place. And there's, there's my dad. You know. But all my OGs should remember. One more time for old times sake, guys. Vlog back home.
This is the river. And the water tower. Love this. <sighs> I'm gonna have to come back here more often. But this is, this is home. This is home. I got my spoiler alert. The tomb was empty. Shirt on, you guys can see. And it's Easter and I'm home. And this is gorgeous. Except for the fact that back in Virginia, um, all the trees are starting to bloom. As you can see here, I mean, there's one there that kind of is, but um, the rest of these haven't quite bloomed yet. But I'll be back here in about two weeks and I will try to record this again with my actual camera. I'm on my phone now, but we will record it again um, in a couple weeks and I'll show you guys the progress from then, from now until then, you guys, just, I'm just gonna hold you. I'm literally going across the street. So nobody yell at me in the comments, I'm literally going across the street, but I love this. This is my home. This is where I grew up. This is where I don't like to be, <laughs> but I also love it at the same time. Like, look at this guys. I'm gonna record this side of the river for you now too. This right here is home. That is home right there, guys. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, I'm going home to take a nap before I drive back across the mountain into Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the water's high down here. It's yeah. dry as crap in West in Virginia. Uh, somebody just went through there. See how muddy it is? Yeah. It's been raining over here for a couple days. It ain't rained over there for a while. Listen, I have a nice new phone now. So I can record vlogs on my phone and don't even have to have my vlog camera with me. I want to record this, this black and white donkey. Look, I got the wide, look, look watch this turns to a wide lens. Oh, that's cool. The new iPhones do. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Hold on. My cord was stuck. Oh, I'm scared I'm going to get stuck in the mud. This ain't a West Virginia style car. <laughs> do you hear me sliding in the mud? Spin some tires on here. No, I just washed my car. We can't get it too muddy. I did want to see that. The, oh, oh, oh. Am I going to get stuck if I stop here? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you can't see it. Where did my black and white horse go? There's an opening. Maybe I can see it from here. Oh, there we go. Back up a little bit. Oh, look how pretty. Oh, it's looking back at me. <laughs> it's looking at me. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right. Oh, you can hear the peep frogs back here too. You can't hear them in West in Virginia. Uh -huh. Spring oh. down the one thing I will say in Virginia, everything's blooming already. Yeah. It's not blooming very much back here yet. Look how pretty that is though.
So I don't know if I need to be there early or not. Look how gorgeous. Listen to everybody watching my video right now. Listen, Virginia is pretty, but y'all ain't got nothing on West Virginia. That's all I'm saying. Look at this. Can't hear the peat frogs down here though. I bet you can down at the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, but normally they're loud enough to where you yeah. can hear them up here. It's still early though. Yeah. fence and walk down there before. I don't know. Is it stocked? Yeah. This river, is it stocked? The lake? Yeah. It's got bass on it. Bass will be able to have fish on it. Don't forget that. They have that brush fire up here. I didn't live here then. I don't think. No, I lived at Brandywine. Yeah. But I didn't they use that Rayola's that day. Oh. That's when Roy was about to break, pull his hair out. They got the brush truck up there and didn't have the water on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, what's the point in bringing the brush truck if you don't have water on it? Oh, he was going off. Alright guys, so I'm home from Easter now. I've already taken off my bra, so excuse me, but I'm home. I just carried all my stuff in. I didn't even get to show you guys, but my mom got me an Easter basket. Don't mind all the other stuff that's on here, but I wanted to show you guys what's in here. So first off, she got me these two dresses. Let me sit you down here. So this is one of the dresses she got me. Um... So it goes like that. Super, super cute. Super pretty. Long and flowy. So that's one of the dresses. I'm going to put these over here because I'm going to clean up this stuff. My friend Christine gave me, she got this shirt. She didn't like the way it fit her. So she got me this. I don't even know what it says. Better days are coming. Revelation 21.4. And it just looks like this. It's like a sweatshirt. Super cute. And she knows I love butterflies. So she gave me this. Um, and then my mom also got me this for Easter. It's actually one of hers, but she gave it to me. And this is another dress. If I can get it looking here. It's just a little t-shirt dress with a little peekaboo cut out on the front. It's got cute little flowers on it. If you guys can see the pattern. Super, super cute. And it's just a little t-shirt dress. Love it. And it's got pockets. Look at this. It's got, well, if I can get my hand in them. It's got pockets. Woohoo. All right. So there's that. And then this is the, and then let me show you the rest. Hold on. This is the rest. This is what my table looks like right now. After three days of doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But anyways, dad, dad's Christmas present or Easter present to me was barbecue sauce because he makes homemade barbecue sauce. I wrapped it up so it didn't leak everywhere. But that right there is my Easter present from my dad because that's literally all I wanted. And then back to the basket. So my mom got me this cute little card, which I'll show you guys in a minute. So there's that. She got me this rose 
bunny. Um, super, super cute. I'm excited to open this. And let's see, I got this cute little keychain. I got a Easter chocolate bunny, some jelly beans. That is my friend's wedding invitation that she gave me that got mailed to her house. So there's that. I got a bath bomb that I'm honestly might use tonight. I got these, which are really, really cool. They're gummy noodles. So you can see they're super, super cute. Because she knows I like sushi and noodles since I moved to Virginia now. And they make fun of me all the time for it. But I do really like Chinese, Thai, um, anything with noodles like that. So she got me that. And speaking of sushi, she got me and my brother both this gummy sushi. Because neither one of my parents likes sushi. So she thought it was a funny joke to get me gummy sushi. So there's that. And then these are bath bombs that I had when I lived with her years ago that she never used and gave to me. So that was part of it. And then some little candy. And she also sent me some money. So that's what that looks like. And then, yeah. So that's my Easter stuff. Like I said, my table looks like a hot mess right now. I got sent home with a bunch of food. You guys see in the bottom of my fridge all that foil. Um, the coleslaw leaked out in my car, so that was fun. I just spent the last couple minutes cleaning that up. But, um, but yeah, I got sent home with a bunch of food. They also sent me 60 bucks to go get my hair and my nails done this week. So I think I'm gonna do that next weekend. Um, I haven't had my hair cut in over a year, and I, it's been probably just as long since I've had my nails done. So I'm excited to go do that, you know, now that I'm an adult who pays bills and well I've, I've been an adult paying bills for a long time but now that i'm a solo adult in a nicer newer more expensive apartment um you know i i, I pay about three times what i used to for rent so thanks inflation and government but that's a story for a different time anyways um i just wanted to close this off and say a very happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday to all my friends, family, viewers, um, internet buddies, whatever you want to call yourselves. Um, I don't really know. I don't like saying viewers because y'all are more than viewers, especially now I'm starting to get to know a lot of you guys and it's just weird calling you viewers. But anyways, Nonetheless, I just wanted to say I hope everybody had a great Easter Resurrection Sunday. Um, I know I did. I was expecting it to be a little bit more chaotic than what it ended up being, but it was really good for me. So I'm super excited. Um, but yeah. <laughs>